In athletics, your teammates become your family solely because of how much time you spend on and off the field with them. For nine BSU athletes, however, they also get to share the field, ice, and court with someone much closer than a teammate. Meet BSU Athletics Fantastic Four, the four groups of siblings currently enrolled in playing their respective sports for the Beavers. Jesse and Jordan Hine have been playing football together for as long as they can remember. From playing Little League together and then high school sports and now in college, so it's pretty awesome. EJ and Gunnar Olszewski are two Texans living nearly 1,500 miles from home. Started getting a little homesick, then he came in for a second semester. And I feel like back home in Texas is a little bit colder. Haley and Hannah Zarr are sisters following in their mom's footsteps. Oh, my mom loves it. She <laughs> loves house having us here. She always tells us that like, she holds all the records. <laughs> saying, like, she breaks, kind of breaks herself up. And the Fitzgerald brothers not only play on the same line for the Beavers hockey Scores! team, oh, that is so sweet hockey! but are also triplets. It's pretty unique, obviously, and um, it's a pretty amazing opportunity. The Hines, Olszewskis, and Zars were all separated after their playing days in high school. We kind of had to come to realization after high school, I mean, with him going to Northern Iowa and that kind of thing. Our only year that we did play together was his senior year and my junior year in high school, obviously. And it was so much fun. I remember after that last game, we were both crying, you know, thinking it was going to be the last game we were playing together. But eventually, the Hines and Olszewskis were reconnected when Jordan transferred from Northern Iowa and EJ from Briarcliff. I don't know if these guys, these coach staff would uh, know about me if it wasn't for him. He told me, he told them about me uh, middle of the season. I sent over my film, and then they gave me a call. Wherever I went to out of high school, if I ever were to transfer, it would be wherever he was because just make it easier on the family, and it worked out real well. After spending the past two seasons on the gridiron, this fall will be Jordan and Jesse's final season together. It's uh, crazy to believe that four years have already gone by with the redshirt year, but I couldn't be happier having Jordan on the team. And I mean, just some of the some of the bonding things we get to go through playing college football together is something that a lot of people don't get to experience. EJ and Gunner have never spent more than a year playing together, but we'll get to spend two more years patrolling the BSU secondary. We want to win together. That's the big thing. I mean, he's already, I'm jealous. He's already got a winning season here. The conference, uh, sharing the conference title. We want, we want rings now. I want the Oshesky name to be something people really hear and other teams fear it. And they're like, oh, there's not just one anymore. They know of me. They're going to look on the roster and be like, Oshesky, Oshesky, another one. And then, so I'm sure they'll be shaking in the boots a little bit. <laughs> Haley's route was more direct, rejoining sister Hannah right out of high school. I didn't want to go somewhere that I had to play against her. Um, I always want to play with her again being able to play two years in high school with her, and then like making my decision to come here made it a lot easier. The two already have one year together at BSU, and Hannah and Haley will get one last hurrah next season when Haley will be a sophomore and Hannah a senior. I say this a lot, but like I'm really, really blessed to be able to play where my mom and my sister both have played, but or like are playing. It's a big thing. Like I don't, I don't think I see it now, like how exciting and how cool it's going to be. But in like how my mom, 30 years later, like hopefully my kids will want to do the same thing and be as close as we are. The Fitzgerald triplets have never not played together, starting as kids, moving to juniors, and now on to BSU. But it's special. It's it's easier for our parents as well. I mean, just knowing that we're all at the same school and they can just watch the same game and they all know we're together at all times. It's just easier for them and. They can come up and all watch us. The three will be juniors next season and are hoping to push the Beavers to new heights. We've always wanted to be, uh, you know, top of the, the league and be the best line we can. And I think, uh, I mean, we just push each other. So. Miles Fitzgerald scores! We just want to win games and just do the best we can and help each other as much as we can as well. There's no doubt the competitive bond the siblings share has pushed them to where they are now. I mean, it's competition, but same thing. We want to see each other succeed, so yeah, it, uh, it's healthy competition, I'd say. And they all say they wouldn't trade any of their experiences for the world. It's special. I mean, there's no other way to put it. And I mean, there's not a day goes by I don't take it for granted. I mean, yeah, this is a great family environment, but you know, having the same blood as someone that's that's something a little stronger. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.